When the team and I were researching this topic, we were genuinely shocked at just how many negative stories there were about kids and social media. Reading some of the articles online, you'd be forgiven for grabbing anything your kids own with the screen and having it immediately destroyed. Obviously, abusing or having too much of anything isn't good, but I think social media gets a particularly bad rap when it comes to kids. It's accused of everything from encouraging unhealthy obsessions, killing the art of conversation and poor social skills, not to mention being a prime factor in young people's depression. I just wonder, please stop playing that. Um, I just wonder whether, because this is what we're entering, isn't it? It's, it's not law what we're entering into. These are recommendations. I mean, is this what we're walking into? Well, the thing is, nightclubs are not going to be opening just yet. So I hope we're not walking into that just yet. And I'm really glad that we stopped playing that video. Listen, like Nick said, <laughs> oh, this is all about timing, isn't it? And even though, you know, restrictions are easing and people can get back out and about, we must remember that coronavirus is still here. It's still a thing. And that was this is so proved by this tournament and I think he just it was just the wrong time it was far too soon to bring all those people together in one place as soon as one person got COVID-19 you knew that it was going to become more prevalent through the players well first of all this comes across like yet another pen pushing exercise we don't need more reports into inequality because we know about the systemic racism in the country we know what the problems are voice characters by Jordan Peele and Ali Mackie who are um, actors of colour um, who voiced uh, the characters that are in Toy Story mm. 4 um, I think I saw a diverse range of characters. I did see a single use plastic board and I thought hold on Disney Pixar actually maybe missed a point to teach us about sustainability and I think we should be focusing on live action films where you have two out of ten um, leads are actors of colour and only 33 percent of those leads are women. That's where we should be focusing, not on Toy Story 4. Okay. And it's unfair to place all this weight on an, a, a, a series that's been around for 20 years. So how do you react to the idea of a, another commission? Well, so I think it's good that Boris Johnson is acknowledging that there is a massive problem when it comes to racism in the UK. What we don't need is another pen pushing exercise. We don't need um, another big block of white paper landing on a desk somewhere in Whitehall for no reason. What we actually need is action. We need to look at the data and we need to read between the data points and actually tackle the issues that cause the discrimination and cause the disparities here in the UK. They've long been known. But we know what they are. What we want is action on them. We don't need another pen pushing exercise. They came out in their thousands and marched for one cause. Black Lives Matter. Hundreds have gathered here in London's Hyde Park. This protest has been sparked by the killing of George Floyd last week in Minneapolis. And of course, the death of Billy Majunga, a railway station worker. As much as I do not condone criminal damage, I think rather than what Priti Patel said, getting rid of a, a blatant symbol of oppression does not undermine the protest. This does not undermine this anti-racist demonstration. It in fact adds to it. It enhances it. It enhances um, your point because you've got rid of this blatant symbol of oppression that has been in Bristol for Can years. I just, but just finally, is Little Bo Peep a feminist icon or is she unfortunately a product of an essentially sexist society? She's a toy.